guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl tovia ogun back again with another exciting video guys before i begin this video i just want to say thank you so much honestly i can't believe that we made it to 500 subscribers in less than four weeks guys i am so happy and i want to say a very big thank you to every one of you who have subscribed to my youtube channel and to every one of you who have been watching my videos thank you so much you guys made this family so great and i really don't know how to express how happy i am on camera but i just want to say thank you so much guys i really appreciate your love your subscription and everything and if you are new yet please subscribe to this amazing family give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment telling me what you like about this video so before i begin this video i would like to give a shout out to the first five comments on my last video and if you still haven't seen that video yet please go see it right now i'm gonna leave it in the i card see that here or um, I think it should be this way i don't know guys but anyway it's gonna pop up just click on it and then go see that video my today shout out goes to the above people thank you guys i love you all so in order to get a shout out from me what you need to do is to be one of the first five people to comment on any time i upload a new video and for you to do that you need to subscribe and turn on all post notifications so once i upload a new video you'll be the first to receive the notifications and then you You'll be the first to see that video and make sure you leave a comment so you can get a shout out for me on my next video so on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make shorts 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 i don't know but shorts at least you guys get what i'm talking about yeah I was saying the big thing, you don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make that. So it's quite easy and it's so fast. So you guys, and it tastes so good. Like it is so good. So you need to see this video and make sure you watch it to the end. It is very important. And if you watch this video to the end, I'm gonna ask you something to really confirm if you watch this video to the end. So make sure you watch it to the end. Without further talk, we're just gonna get into this video. So guys, to begin, put a clean pot on the gas and add your water to it. Once you've had your water, take your butter and add it to the water. If there is any pieces left on the butter, take it and put it on your water. And then you want to add your sugar next. Sorry about my lighting, it was a little bit too bright, but this is the sugar. And then the next thing you want to do is to add your salt to it. Take your spoon and just mix everything together gently. Then you want to leave it for some minutes to boil. Just leave it, but make sure your gas it is on low heat. You don't want to go too high, but just leave it for a few minutes and everything should just boil and get melted. After that, you want to add your flour to it gently, making sure everything gets into the mixture very well. And then take your spatula and mix everything together. Make sure there's no white patches left, so just mix everything together keep mixing and make sure you are doing this on low heat you don't want to get those bonds keep mixing everything or think there's no white patches and there's no part that says oh this is raw butter so after that the next thing you want to do is to off your gas and let this to cool for some time if it is cool enough you want to hard your egg but you can see when I turned my, I discovered there was still like the heat on the food. So what I did was take it 
down and go put it on a bowl to make sure everything was properly cool because you don't want to add your egg when it is still very hot if not you're gonna boil the egg so but that being said you want to keep mixing this keep mixing keep mixing until everything is together so if you think everything is together then you want to add the other egg to it make sure it is very cool before you add this egg then you want to start mixing this very 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 well make sure everything is together so this will take you some few minutes but just make sure everything is together and the mixture should come out smooth so after you're done with your mixture and you believe everything is worked together the next thing you want to do is to get a plate and then add your sugar to it add your cinnamon and mix them together Once you're done with this mixture, the next thing you want to do is to get a piping bag and a nozzle. So put it together and just put it in a cup. The next thing you want to do is to mix this mixture again and then take it and put it on your piping bag. So we need to do this because this is how we are going to be frying it. We need to pipe it out from the bag and put it on our hot oil. Because if you don't do that, there's no way you're going to get that shape. If you put everything on your piping bag, just make sure you shake it properly, making sure everything is together and there's no breeze inside the piping bag because you don't want to pipe out breeze, but you want to pipe out a pastry. So make sure you just keep pushing down, making sure everything goes down to the nozzle. So once you finish with that, the next thing you want to do is to put your oil on the gas. Once the oil is hot, you want to start frying. But there's a method to frying the shoes. Shoes, I don't know. What you want to do is to pipe it, pipe it as much as you want, and then use your knife to cut it. You need that knife to cut it because looking at the first one I made, I didn't use the knife. The second one I used it, but I was way too fast. But you want to go slowly as much as possible to make this beautiful. So you see the third one was just there. Now that's what you want to do. Make sure you use the knife. But if you think you can do this without the knife, then go ahead and make me proud, darling. <laughs> Now you want to fry this on medium to low it but just make sure you keep an eye on what you are doing and make sure it comes out golden brown that is what our hand is and make sure it is cooked although it is small but you make sure it is cooked okay i love the smell guys it smells so nice honestly now put it on your kitchen paper to drain away any excess oil then go for the second batch, do the same thing for every one of them and just keep trying. You're going to be perfect, trust me. And yeah, just do everything you have to do, same process and let's enjoy our snack. <laughs>
so here is our final work they are so lovely and they smells really good so the next thing you want to do is to sprinkle them with your sugar or you could just put them inside your sugar and cinnamon that we did earlier so just soak them on and then enjoy <laughs> so yeah and then the next one we want to do is to make our chocolate sauce it's a sauce i don't know what is it called you want to make our chocolate sauce <laughs> so yeah just break your chocolate So the next thing is to get your milk and then once you've poured this you could either microwave it or you could boil it on the saucepan so once you've boiled it you want to pour it on your chocolate and leave it for at least a minute or two depending on how many chocolate you've got there so after some minute then you want to come back and use your spoon to just turn this over mix it very well and make sure everything comes all together now once you've mixed it properly you want to pour it on a saucepan so there we have it our chocolate and our shoes delicious anyways guys i wanted to mention you can use a bigger nozzle and you will end up with a bigger shoes but i did use the small one anyways enjoy <laughs> hey guys welcome back hope you did enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment what you like about this video and don't forget to subscribe if you've not yet subscribed and turn on post notifications well if you did watch this video to the end do comment bananas with your normal comment to really confirm if you did watch this video to the end well i'll be seeing you guys on my next video do take good care of yourself and i love you all bye